Hi, I'm Maria, and I do have a master's in gerontology, and my class is called Balance and Flexibility for Healthy Aging. Sorry, I had to have these to make sure I don't forget anything. It's not working? It's not working? What if I do So, loss of balance is actually not a part of the natural aging process. So it can come from medications or from inner ear issues, but actually, it mostly comes from the fact that as we age, we become afraid to fall. And so then what happens is we don't challenge ourselves. And when we don't challenge ourselves, we become weak. And we do become more susceptible to falling. And it's like this cycle that happens. Statistics say that one in every three people age 65 and older will have a fall in one year's time. Now, some of those falls are moderate, some of them are more severe. Falls are actually the most common cause of non-fatal injuries and hospital admissions for trauma. So you can think back to when you, I don't know, kind of misstepped in your backyard or that sort of thing. I think statistically that would be part of having a fall, a moderate fall, gee, maybe I twisted my ankle a little bit. It could be something more great, like uh, hitting your head or breaking a bone. So any of those goes along with that statistic. I do have a certification in yoga therapy, and this class is considered a yoga therapy class. Now I always hesitate to say the word yoga because people think that we are going to be doing impossible pretzel poses that hurt their knees and their wrists. They tell me they can't do it, and then they stop listening to me. Okay, there are many different types of yoga. Some types of yoga, you're laying on the floor the entire time, and those classes are lovely. I'd love to teach one of those classes for a sure, too. Yoga therapy is a new profession. It's, it's for the regular person. It's body friendly, friendly to the knees, friendly to the neck. There'll be several adaptations for everything that we do. I will make sure that you're comfortable. I've been a self I've been a self employed muscle therapist for 20 years, so I am very sensitive to moving the body in a safe way. We'll start the class with some breathing and centering to calm the nervous system. Then we'll tap into our core strength for stability. And then we'll use standing yoga poses that test our balance. So for instance, let me give you an example. We might start with tree pose. This would be a very moderate tree pose. If we want to lift our leg a little higher, we're going to test our balance a little bit more. If we want to lift it all the way up, Let's go ahead and lift it all the way up. If that's really pretty good, we can always add our hands. We can always close our eyes. And I will have props available for you. You'll be against a wall. Every level will be accommodated. However, the class has got to be small. It is a small enrollment, so sign up soon. Um, so you'll be testing your balance in a safe and controlled environment. I think I mentioned that. And then at the end of the class, We'll move back, we'll move on to the floor, and we'll do a couple of those lovely flexibility poses that I was talking about on the floor. Um, we'll be at my office, and so I've got bolsters, blankets, sandbags for support. We'll stretch the legs, the spine, the shoulders. And so really what you do is you become, you come, you, you come into the pose, and you get supported with a bolster or a blanket or a sandbag, and then you simply melt into the pose. And we can be in the pose for a period of time. And what this kind of stretching does is it's passive. So it's not an active stretching, it's passive, which means that it's going to target the connective tissue. And it's going to very, very slowly, gently release that connective tissue, which is fabulous because it increases your joints range of motion. Um, it lessens your chance of um, injury because you're more flexible. Um, so the office, my office, is small, it's comfortable, um, I'm very hands-on, I'm very friendly, and I would love to see you guys there. Thank you!